affected by plastic pollution, simply due to its toxicity, coupled with its inability to decompose. We don't have great alternatives either. They often contain calcium chloride, a harmful chemical that leaves a toxic residue. Here's where our project comes in. Our question, which calcium chloride replacement, calcium lactate, xanthan gum, or calcium citrate creates the most effective, durable, and eco-friendly seaweed biofabric? We researched the role of calcium chloride, found replacements, and created specific recipes. Our samples consisted of a seaweed glycerin base, solidified with a sprayed-on firming agent. We used a force sensor to record the amount of force each sample could withstand, and a flame test to determine the toxicity of commercial bioplastic. Thanks to middle school chemistry, we learned that this method would identify the presence of toxic chemicals. Orange flames indicated a harmful calcium chloride residue present. Let's take a look at the images, shall we? It's toxic. Experimenting with these alternatives created plastic that was cheaper, only 15 cents, malleable, waterproof, and most importantly, resistant to force. To recap, the most resistant biofabric was the calcium lactate, followed by the calcium citrate. Using safe alternatives revolutionizes eco packaging by introducing unique biofabric recipes and making sustainable plastic options accessible. The time before irreversible plastic pollution is dwindling. We hope that this project not only exposes new possibilities for all plastics, but also perpetuates the idea that more pollution is not the solution. If you are interested in our project process or even want to touch the plastics for yourselves, come by our poster. We'll see you soon. Thank you.